Hi everyone, and welcome to another Xcode, Xcode trick. In this trick, or in this tutorial, you will learn how to fix this debugging problem, and it's a thread problem. It's called thread one signal sig apart, and this problem is pretty common. So today I'll teach you how to fix it. So let's open up Xcode. The the how you create it is you need to I'll show you. Thread. We'll call this project thread. One signal null sig sig apart bullet which you object can see in the device's iPhone click next finish and we will the simulator we will select iPhone 5 it's going to make that story word just for the purposes, we're going to deselect use size classes so it will be an iPhone screen. Use size class data for iPhone. Press disable size class. Okay, so it's an iPhone screen. And all we need for this tri tri trick to work is we need a label. Or any type that you, need, that you might want. Okay, so let's open up the assistant editor right here. This little thingy majig here. And we want to control that H. And here we're gonna control drag on here, and we, we get this. We're gonna have the connection be an outlet, and the object is the view controller, the name. I'll call this label. The type is UI label, and the storage is wrong. Connect. And let's cl close this, and we're gonna go to view control to H right here. And we're going to delete this line of code. That. And we're going to go back to main.storyboard. And if you click on this label. And you go to the connection inspector. There's still in a connection. So this is what will trigger thread one signal signal bar. So let's run. And we'll see what happens. So it's loading. And then the sick comes up. It says thread one signal signal bar. So let's stop it, and we're gonna go back to you can. We're gonna go back to main death storyboard, and the reason is you might have deleted a line of code like we did. You can try to H, but we like it like a like a IP outlet, and but we kept it, but we forgot to disconnect it in view control or main death storyboard. So if this is what happens if you disconnect it and run, it it appears like it is because you it has this reference that it doesn't know what it what is. Okay, let's close the iOS simulator with Command Q, or we you can go to iOS simulator, quit iOS simulator, or Command Q on your keyboard. Okay. So anyway, thank you for watching. Um hit subscribe and see you next time. Bye-bye.